Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community. I'm Mary Kate Carpetris, and I'm back again with uh, my fellow associate editor at QN, Gigi Kalsa. Hello. Hi, Gigi. Hi. Um, and we're here today to talk about this handy dandy kind of odd looking tool here in front of us. Yeah, this is uh, the Golden Gauge Calipers from Ginny Byers Studio. And I use these to uh, develop the Easy Lesson for our April, May 2015 issue. Mm -hmm. And what these are, it's basically, um, if you've heard of the golden ratio, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's found in art and um, also in nature. In nature, it occurs yeah, a lot. Yeah. And it's um, basically what it is, it's the ratio of one to 1.618. And nobody knew, really knows why, but um, apparently it's just considered to be very graceful and, you know, kind of a complete proportion. And when you use it, your work ends up looking really good. Awesome. Yeah. So I designed a series of placemats where I drafted these um, appliques using the tool. And I'll show you how to do it today. But um, first, let's look at my placemats and all the different possibilities mm -hmm. just with this simple mm -hmm. technique. So this is your basic diamond. Now, before we, we move it, show me the one and then sure. show me the, the one point. Okay, so six. you'll see that this is approximately, you know, I'm not sure what the measurement is. But, that's, but what's nice is you don't have to know. Yeah, exactly. Is. This takes the math out of it. So then you go to the vertical uh -huh. okay. and it's pretty much exactly 1.618 the width. And then I uh, just, by varying the shape of the line, I was able to get a bunch of different shapes of appliques. Uh -huh. And I'll show you how to so do again, that. So again, it's all based on height to width. Exactly. But just different shapes that you can do yeah. from that. And, and this is really just one of the many uses of this tool. You can use it to, to design blocks, to figure out border proportions. And there's so many applications, and this is just sort of the tip of the iceberg, but I thought it would be a nice way to get people familiar with the tool and how mm -hmm. they can incorporate it into their designs. Mm -hmm. Did you use that, did you use the calipers to um, design different sizes? Like, so is this one and then one point no, six? No, I didn't really do that. I just sort of did a small, medium, large. And I did draft all three sizes just to make sure that it was consistent and that, that it would work. But you could draft one size and then photocopy it larger or smaller as you sure. like. And so then this is sort of a little star shape. Mm -hmm. And let's get started and I'll show you how Absolutely. we do it. These are lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah, great. So basically what I've got here is just a piece of graph paper and I've marked a vertical and horizontal line. And so I can take my calipers, open it to whatever width I want, and I'm just gonna place the smaller opening right on this horizontal axis. Mm -hmm. And um, you can use a centering ruler, which I have here, or if you want to use a regular ruler, just measure the opening and divide it in half, and that'll tell you what measurement you need to mark on either side of the line. Okay. But the centering ruler is really handy because you don't really have to think about it. Uh -huh. You put the zero right on your vertical axis, and then you just sort of center your little points wherever. So it looks at like about one and one eighth on either side of the line is where I need to mark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And again, you don't even have to be right on an it's, even increment of your ruler, just. It doesn't have to be exact. Even if you wanna round up or round down, that's totally mm -hmm. fine. You're not gonna notice the difference visually. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the vertical axis. It looks like I might have gotten this just a little bit off. I'm gonna move my mark right there. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here. And so you just wanna be careful not to adjust the calipers. That's right. Yeah, you don't wanna move them in the middle of this or your proportions won't be right. So let's just center that. Looks like I'm at about one and three quarters on both sides. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a mark on the line there. And there we go. The graph paper is nice because it helps you figure out exactly where you need to mark. Okay, Excellent. so I've got all my marks 
And now all I have to do is just connect my lines, or my marks, mm -hmm. excuse me. So for the diamond, of course, I'll just make straight lines. And it is just a diamond, but it's a perfectly a proportioned perfect diamond. diamond. That's right. So, and that's really your basic shape. And from here, you can just start doing a whole bunch of variations. And got a little bit off of my mark there, but no big deal. And then when you've got all your lines marked, you can just trace it onto template plastic, cut it out, and you've got your template. Mm -hmm. But in order to do the um, more unusual shapes, like the little onion sort of a shape or the dime or the little star, mm -hmm. I just did transfer my marks to a piece of scrap graph paper. And then I'll just draw a curved line on this piece of paper. Let's do something like that. And then I can just trace this onto all four quadrants. Ah. And just do this on the other side, like that. So I could trace it here. And then I just reverse it as I need uh -huh. to. And then what you know, that you have the same exact curve. And there, it's yes. Nice and symmetrical. It's the same on all sides. And so it's also perfectly proportioned. Indeed. So that's pretty much it. And you don't have to do, you know, you don't have to be symmetrical and you don't have to do everything, you know, equidistant from the axis. For example, I drafted this one mm -hmm. and this is based on the same principles, but you'll see it's definitely not symmetrical. The, mm -hmm. pedal, the petals uh -huh. are, you know, 1.618 longer than the center. Not only that, but the width of the petals is the same as the, same the center. As the center. So it's a perfectly proportioned. And it just gives that really nice, again, it's a graceful, harmonious look mm -hmm. that you don't even have to think about. Exactly, you don't have to think about it. And a lot of the times when you see things and something's a little bit off, it's generally proportioned and you don't really know how to, I mean, it's one of those things you don't really see mm -hmm. until it's pointed out to you. So mm -hmm. this is definitely a useful tool. It's a lot of fun and I hope people try it. Well, I love the idea of using it to determine your border widths. Absolutely, yeah. I hadn't thought about that, and again, it takes a lot of the math out of it. You need to make sure that you're cutting correctly, but uh -huh. then you get, the, nice, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so you can get your borders, even blocks, if you don't wanna do like a perfectly symmetrical nine patch, you could do, you know, a, a shorter center and uh -huh. longer sides, uh -huh. and you could really, there's so many possibilities, this is just the beginning. Yeah, so this is just what we demonstrated in the magazine, but the idea is then you can take this tool and I run hope, with it. I, I well, hope people do. <laughs> you don't run with it. Yeah, it's a little sharp. But. <laughs> and um, um, uh, when I was done with my little placemats, I had some appliques left over, so I just made some greeting cards. You don't have to sew with these. You can just sort of fuse them onto paper, make little cards, and send them to your loved ones. And I did a couple where I just layered a bunch of appliques on top of each other. So it's just a lot of fun. Those are gorgeous. Thank you very much. You should sell those. Maybe I will. <laughs> well, that was very quick, very easy. Very easy. Very great. Thank you. <laughs> so that was that was awesome. Thanks so much for showing this to us today. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years.